Hello, we're talking to uh, top Melbourne Chess Club junior and soon to be FIDE master Jack Pacini. Jack, thanks for uh, speaking to us. That's all right. Um, you've had a great 2014. You uh, won three Melbourne Chess Club events, came equal, came first rather, in the uh, Grand Prix, Melbourne Chess Club Grand Prix, okay. represented Australia in the uh, Youth Olympiad and uh, crossed over 2300 at the end of the year and uh, will soon be uh, receiving the FIDE master title. What aspect of uh, your chess in 2014 pleased you the most? Um, definitely getting my FM title was probably my biggest achievement of uh, 2014. It, it was, um, I improved a lot I think, but also the K factor of 40 helped me a lot. I mean, one, one, from one uh, Melbourne chess club Monday night, I got like 100, and 100 points or so, that, so that really helped me. It was also really good to, um, start winning some of the tournaments because in 2013 I wasn't able to be up uh, up, up the top and I really wanted to so then when I started winning them at uh, winning the 2014 ones it was uh, it was quite good so yeah it was just a good year. What was it do you think that sort of took you to the next level of being able to win the tournaments whereas pre in previous years you were kind of just there and thereabouts? I think it's just I just got better as a player in general I mean as um from 2013 to 2014, I think that's when I made my biggest improvement. Maybe not in rating wise, but just in strength wise. And then my rating sort of followed after um after the K Factor 40 kicked in. I think I made a, a big improvement from 2013 to 2014. I, I think I just improved generally. And also it was a bit a bit of help because some good players stopped playing at Monday nights. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, how long have you been involved with the, the Melbourne Chess Club? Um, I don't know exactly, but it's been quite a long time. I remember I started off by going to Nick Specs, the person that taught me chess at my school. He ran a Saturday morning uh, coaching sort of uh, session here in the morning of Saturday, and um, I went to I started off at those, and then someone I can't remember who told me that there was actually an Allegro going, and then from there I played the Allegro. And when I started playing, I don't think any juniors were playing at that point. Maybe Morris came at some times, uh, I've heard, but I think I was one, one of maybe one of the first juniors started playing there, and that's where I started sort of playing um, at MCC, and then I learned about Monday tournaments and started playing that, and then some of my other junior friends started playing, and that's sort of how it's, I don't know how many years exactly, but it's been yeah. a while. You're pretty experienced. I think you're, what, 15, 14 now? Is that right? Yeah, I'm 15. Yeah, so um, how long have you been playing chess? I've been playing chess about six or seven years okay. around that much around that okay and uh, you you um you spoke about uh the fact that uh you got coached by nick speck uh, at your school uh, we should probably mention the fact that you know you uh went to a, a local school and uh, at your local school were um quite a few other strong players such as yeah. ari dale finley dale and um, i think nick schroeder yeah. what was it like um playing with those guys um do you mean at tournaments or just uh, having them at the same tournaments? As well, I mean, else? like, did, did their presence help you develop as a chess player? I think it definitely did. I mean, especially uh, while Nick Schroeder uh, was definitely there for a while, he went to a different high school while Ari went to the same high school as me and we played in the chess team together there. And Ari and Finley have both carried on playing, so I definitely, and we've played each other a number of times, so I definitely think um, we've, t we've helped each other a long way. Also, uh, each other being there, I think it's motivated us to get better. Um, yeah, I definitely think that would have helped me. It helped me immensely. Are you, are you proud of uh, Ari's chess achievements today? Uh, am I proud? Do you mean the tournaments he's playing now? Or yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, just his progress, the fact that he's, you know, d did the fact that he became an IEM and he's playing with the big boys over in, in the Netherlands sort of give you inspiration to, to try harder yourself? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. He's, um, especially in White Country, he's playing very well at the moment. So I think that'll definitely make the motivation. Okay. Um, another thing you're quite know, well known for, um, Jack, is uh, brilliancy. Yes, and, yes. Uh, and uh, you know, you, you've, I think, won last year probably three or four brilliancies at Melbourne Chess Cup, or maybe that's... Maybe around, that's around that. Uh, I, yeah. I don't know exactly. Um, do you go out of your way to sort of play brilliancies? And what, what to you sort of like um, is the attraction of play, playing brilliantly rather than sort of technically um, just trying to blind people? Well, actually, I find I play well, and when I play these so-called brilliancies, I find I play these when I'm in my most 
objective of uh, mindsets. I don't actually go out looking to play brilliancies, but there's but I just I just play moves, and for some reason I'm just like, yeah, I'll just sacrifice a piece here. It might work out. And I don't when I'm trying to play brilliancies, I just I just can't. And when I'm just thinking it just like as a normal chess player, I don't know how, but they just pop up, whether it be the openings I play or maybe it's just my mindset, I don't know. Mm. I'm not really going out to look look to play these brilliancies, they just pop up somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you also mentioned earlier um, the Allegros. What was it about playing in those Allegros that kind of helped your development? Um, I think just by up to a certain level, just by playing chess and learning from your games is just, apart from like reading books and getting a coach, I think that really helps up to around about 18, 1900 level. I've seen people that just play chess and they've got up to this level. Many club players are like this. So I think just playing uh, chess and just learning more about the game every game I play is is definitely, and the Allegro is a perfect time to do that because it's not long games and it's not one game every day I get to play. And it's, it's also really fun, so that's also another... Uh, reason I go to Allegro, so I think definitely mm. it helped. Mm. Um, you're soon to be a FIDE master, congratulations again. Thanks. Um, do you have, what, what, what are your future uh, chess ambitions, if any? Um, well, my goals as such, I just basically want to keep improving. I mean, my, my next one is obviously, I think at, right at the moment I may be a, a bit overrated, so I want to try to st stabilise sort of my rating uh, at around that 2300 level. I mean, I once played some good tournaments and just got over 2300 after getting some good results, but uh, right now I just want to sort of stabilise uh, at 2300 and then may and just uh, basically improve over 2014. By the end of 2014, I I just basically I don't really have any set goals, but that's where I'm going right now. I think. Okay. Last question: um, What advice would you have for any uh, young up-and-coming chess players? My best advice for upcoming chess players is I always hear them talking about openings and how you should study openings and I know it's completely cliche but there's uh I mean there's lots of psychological factors that sort of drive people to study openings as much as they feel that they've learnt stuff because they can write it down with as opposed to you know they can't exactly write down the same way they write down a variation of an opening they play if they learn end games or something like this but definitely I think uh sort of vary away from openings sometimes and I know a lot of um people think if I get this solid opening repertoire and I have everything covered, it will be all um, it will be all right, and then I can move on to do other things. And it will really never happen. You'll never get a solid opening repertoire. It will always be changing. You'll always be forgetting lines and things like this. So I really encourage um, up and coming players and pretty much all players in general to study to study more on the strategic side of chess. I mean, that's it's quite actually it's quite hard to study strategic chess as it is opposed to openings or end games where there's actually theory set to them, but Definitely, that that's that would be my biggest advice. Great, thanks. Thanks for your time, Jack. Yeah, it's a pleasure.